watch Heat Wave before anyone else? Well, there's an easy way to do that. Just back us up on Patreon at patreon.com slash half empty e tank and be the first to watch the episodes. Hi, <laughs> welcome back to Heat Wave. Uh, I didn't really have a planned topic. Uh, uh, so <laughs> here's what we're going to do. Fucking criminal. I'm going to say first. Happy Easter! Easter's coming up. This is the last segment right before Easter, so enjoy that. Um, let's just start the conversation with Brittany. What's your favorite Easter memory? Um, probably the Easter that my dad was with us. The first Easter when my mom and my dad got back together. Mm -hmm. And my dad was trying to overcompensate for like seven years of abandonment. <laughs> and he got me this giant fucking Easter basket full of like... All kinds of fucking candy and fingernail polish and just a bunch of really fantastic things that a seven-year-old girl would love. Yeah. And it was the best Easter ever. Well, that's good. <laughs> I mean, the connotation around it is terrible, but well, I'm you glad know you what? had a good time. You gotta, make, you gotta make lemonade out of lemons. All right. So... <laughs> I'll take this basket of overcompensation. No problem. You got it. It had like every flavor of nerds in it, which is one of my favorite candies when I was a kid. But it was mm -hmm. the 90s, so it was just two. No, it was it was more than that. It was like, honestly, the flavors that were in that basket, I search for them in stores. They just don't exist anymore. Mm. Yeah, you're thinking of runts. Runts are the ones that used to have two flavors, and now they have a ton of them. Uh, okay. Um, Jairus, what about you? Do you have a favorite Easter uh, memory? Not really. I don't really. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Easter is always a whatever holiday. Yeah, for Easter's me. a I'm, fucking whatever. I'm not, like, we usually... I'm not religious, yeah. so it doesn't have any significance for me. And usually when I was a kid, Easter was the same as spring break. Like they would arrange it so mm -hmm. it was the same mm -hmm. time. And so a lot of times I was traveling with uh, school or friends and I always missed Easter. Yeah. So there was a lot of Easter's I didn't celebrate because I was on a trip somewhere. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, Easter's always been kind of a eh, whatever. Well, what, what about you, Hutch? I think you're the most religious out of all of us. Do you ever do anything special for Easter or do you have any plans or memories? Um, not really. None that don't involve like making eggs, uh, <laughs> dying eggs. Like, like that shit. Was <laughs> Hutch sits on his nest <laughs> and lays eggs for the special uh, day. <laughs> I'm just making <laughs> eggs. Today. I gotta tell you, I'm making a killing right now. <laughs> <laughs> Calling Big Egg Hutch. Hutch, mm. have you watched V Stars yet? Not yet, no. Oh, okay, there's a section in there about this chicken who lays eggs, and she sells her own eggs <laughs> to the school to make egg salad sandwiches, and the wolf is like, Wednesdays are the best days, and she's like blushing because those are her eggs. <laughs> it's really uh, weird. <laughs> Sorry, I just thought of that. <laughs> Brittany's been going down some weird assholes on Netflix lately. <laughs> I mean, I can't fault oh, her. Oh, good. <laughs> well, um... For me, uh, probably my favorite Easter memory is as a kid, um, I was an only child, so I was spoiled, and um, I got an Easter basket that had a Game Gear, uh, Game Genie in it Yo. for my Nintendo NES, and um, so uh, all seven of my NES games opened up, and I was able to cheat like Damn. crazy in them. Your parents got you good gifts. Uh, yeah, they, they gave me like one, well, I only got like my Christmas and birthday were the same day, so they kind of treated it like... Another Second birthday, Christmas. yeah. <laughs> so they would get me one really good present. Thus explaining so, the Jesus thing. Yeah, Easter, the, it's all the Jesus uh, Jesus related holidays were special to me. Easter was always like a like you get chalk or bubbles or like a big gift. I would get sometimes like a bicycle. Oh, that's awesome! For Easter because it's yeah, just spring. like a spring thing, but yeah. it was mostly candy. Yeah, I totally forgot that I got gifts sometimes at Easter as well. I believe one of them was the the Nintendo uh, TMNT game. Oh, that's pretty what? good. That's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, we we were never one. I'm not from a very religious family, and even the parts of my family that are religious, like we just get together and do a meal. Usually, like there wasn't a church service. Um, mm -hmm. The majority of aspects of my family are poor, so there wasn't yeah. like gifts abound or any shit like that so it's just like hey here's like a bunny chocolate bunny let's eat some ham i mean that's 
I mean, because Brittany and I are adults now, uh, that's pretty much the the uh, how it is now. Uh, although, of course, your mom still makes his Easter baskets. <laughs> yeah, she makes his Easter baskets, but your usually mom consists is just of so wholesome. <clears throat> she is. Um, so it usually consists of a chocolate bunny, some Peeps, because I love Peeps, and my mom knows that, and some a Cadbury few eggs. some Cadbury eggs. And uh, I love all those things. So, <laughs> so because we can't leave. Uh, the house for easter we decided that we're gonna make a meal here but we're not huge fans of ham so we're gonna make a turkey we're essentially gonna make like a thanksgiving dinner for yep. easter <laughs> yeah we're gonna have thanksgiving dinner at our house for just me and Brittany. so that's what um, we're planning on doing that sounds I'm pretty real sad great. that I, I i i won't have any cadbury eggs this year but i i, I totally forgot about this so they made a Cadbury egg for Halloween that had like instead of like the uh, it had the uh, green stuff in it. Yolk, it had the green yolk instead. Mm-hmm. It was so good. They, they they found a way to keep themselves relevant more than once a year. I love those things. They are so terrible for you, but I love them so much. <laughs> yeah, the sugar high is mm-hmm. just <laughs> over nine thousand. <laughs> yeah. Um, I will say that I uh, I did um enjoy easter a lot more when i started uh get, when I, me and Brittany got into our relationship because he had a bunch of young children in her family and i would go up to her house on easter and we would just go easter egg hunting we would uh, paint a bunch of easter eggs and me and Brittany usually were the ones who went out and hid them yeah that was fun and uh the kids would go run around and like you know go find the eggs and that was a really enjoyable for me but my favorite part was when they got so old that they weren't into it. So the way that we turned it around, we we're like, "All right, you guys go hide the Easter eggs. Me and Brittany will go find them." And they got really into it, so we got really into it. And now each year we usually take turns. Yeah, we take we divide up into teams. Usually Michelle and I are on different teams, mm-hmm. um, and we just take turns hiding the eggs and then finding them again. So mm-hmm. yeah, that's probably <laughs> my favorite thing about Easter right now. It's like uh, the the kids. Uh, I use it's it's very rare that I. I can get them into something to where they're like got their head out of a screen or something like that. Kids so. these days. <laughs> yeah. So Kids yeah. these days in their video games. Uh, which <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, cigarettes and they're flossing. <laughs> so yeah, it's nice. It, it's always nice to like actually go outside and hang out with them and do something fun. It's kind of like playing a board game. I bring a board game yeah. to my parents' house whenever I go so I can actually talk to them. Because <laughs> when I go to her house, they're like, well, let's watch a movie. Let's watch another movie. And I'm just like, oh, cool. Uh, can we have a conversation? <laughs> no. That no. means we'd actually have to get to know one another. <laughs> Aww. I like that you two um, really seem to take, like... To heart like holiday traditions like you guys seem to do things um i think part of that for me and maybe this goes for britney too um i i've always been an only child and for most of britney's childhood she was an only child as well yeah, i was an only child until i was 13 so yeah i don't know why i've always been an only child is the funniest thing to me because it, it's like there's a layer of implication associated with it like oh i used to have a sister so fun fact my pa- when i was oh, no. uh, 11 years old my parents were uh pregnant and uh they unfortunately had a miscarriage but like for months they were like oh you're gonna have a little sister or something like that and let me just like bring this whole thing down but uh <laughs> did you oh, did you bad now. have one of those moments where like you wished at some arcade machine that mm-hmm. you didn't have a sister and then you oh, went yeah. on an adventure to learn the uh like the importance of family and togetherness and accepting uh things that are beyond your control. No, it's the exact opposite. I really wished that I didn't have a sister and then it happened and I felt like shit because I saw the aftermath of yeah, it. Yeah, that was the that was the other direction that, that could have gone. <laughs> <laughs> How long did you think that you had magic powers for? Um, for probably about a month or so. She still does. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I don't know. Growing up for me, like, uh, holidays were always a big deal in my family. Um, And we always put whatever bullshit we had aside 
and I always had the good feels. So I try to carry that into adult life. Like I still um, want to celebrate the holidays. I love to decorate. Um, yeah, and I think. By the way, Hutch, uh, if if we still live in this apartment by the time Christmas comes around, uh, I am buying you a Christmas tree and we're setting it up because we didn't have space for a Christmas tree this year. And I am so sad. (laughs) Oh, so heads up. We didn't we we, we didn't do one either. Yeah. So it made me super, super sad this year. I yeah. I uh, didn't have this. Um, the, the, it's one or two years of my life now. I didn't have a Christmas tree, and this was one of them. And I'm just like, hmm. Oh. Well, you still had the um, the uh, what was it, the fiber optic tree, right? We didn't even put it up though. We didn't have time because oh. of Magfest. Uh. Magfest and limited run combo. It was a. It was. Yeah, it was. And a then lot. setting up this podcast. Mm-hmm. <laughs> there was a lot going on in December. Also, I was getting slammed with Etsy orders. Mm-hmm. So I was coming home every day after work and working until midnight to catch up on Etsy orders. And then I would get up in the morning and go to work all day and then do the same thing. Yeah, we um, we just... We, so that's why I actually put my shop in on vacation mode because it was just getting too out of control. Hmm. So yeah, like... Successful. We, we usually do like really focus on the holidays, but we didn't have time at all this Christmas. And I think that kind of like... That really killed my buzz. Yeah, also it was the first Christmas without my sister. Um, so... It kind of felt like this year was just like going through the motions of like, let's just kind of get this over with. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think the upcoming years, it will be better. But this was the first year, so it was very hard. Yeah, agreed. Gotcha. But uh, I definitely want to do more stuff. I think the only thing we really got like really ready for was Halloween. And we had the best and saddest Halloween party ever. It was just me, Brittany, Hutch, and Brian Rexroad. And <laughs> we was all the best. Got, it, it was so sad awesome. At all. We got so drunk and we got so we just what did we watch? Blade? Blade. We, we watched Enjoy Blade. Us. And we were just laying on the floor drunk. Yeah, because you probably made paint cans. Oh no, what we did is we had uh what we, we had made, punch. Like, punch. Yeah, we had punch and we were playing games that forced us to I drink played, more punch. I played Mario sixty four and every time I got a star everyone had to take a drink. Or we had to rotate, we all took drinks. Mm-hmm. Um it was this champagne that or not champagne, it was this punch that was super sweet. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't taste like there was any alcohol in it, but it got you fucked up. And we all were like on a sugar high. We all had like the red Kool Aid mustache. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and we all ha- we all had our own like um, costume. Yeah, so I think you guys had me with the banana. Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. Costume. I gave you Master Shake because I was the oh, banana. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's yeah. Even better. Uh, who had the banana? I was the banana. You were the banana. Yeah. And Rex Road was a uh, monkey. He was a panda, I think. Oh, that's panda? right. He was a panda. And I just of had course, he would dress. have like face mask, <laughs> like face paint on. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, yeah for yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I went super easy. No, I was a. Uh, I felt like I had a hat on too, though, with the banana. I don't know. Costume. You can post a picture up. I have I a picture know. that you can okay, post cool. up of everybody playing Donkey Konga. <laughs> oh yeah, that was fun. But um, yeah. So like we're we're definitely like about the holidays. Um, we're still going to try and celebrate Easter as much as we can here, even though it's just me and Brittany. I don't know. We might paint some eggs just yeah, for fun. fun. But um, I I love the holidays. I still love Easter, even though I'm not religious at all. But the the tradition of it and the fun of it is you yeah. can still have it. Well, I I think there's something to be said about traditions and the approach to holidays. That's essentially just like, hey. This is a time where we have rituals and and systems and processes, um, and mm-hmm. I'm I'm perfectly fine with that. Like that's yeah, that's reasonable. That's nice and wholesome and great. Like big ups. I think I I mean there's a reason why it's not just a religious thing. I get like religion is why a lot of traditions sh- like form, but like um I think traditions form mostly out of a social need. Oh, absolutely. More than anything else. Yeah. And I still need those things. I'm still a human being that needs to, like, do fun stuff and have, like, oh, this is the time where we all agree that we're going to do a thing and it's fun. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I like I like that aspect of community. 
And um, we got like 10 seconds, so let's just drop it there. Uh, guys, drop it, drop it there. Ow, bow, bow. <laughs> if you like this show, you can like, comment, subscribe. Uh, we're going to put something on OnlyFans. I don't know what the fuck we're going to put on there. <laughs> um, we're also on Discord. Go put f- jump on our Discord. of like cat butthole on OnlyFans. Yeah. Okay, I will. I'll do something. Mm. Fra- Frank's I'll asshole get somewhere. I'll banned or something. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Who gives a shit? It's only fans. <laughs> it's, it's an interesting time to find out how that platform works and what does or doesn't work on it. Well, let's test it out, I guess. All right. No, so, what, what better way to see what's in the TOS by just <laughs> seeing what sticks on the wall? Yeah, you've got you've to brute force the terms of service. That's right. That's right. All right. And with that, we'll see you guys next week. Bye. 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 Goodbye.